Hey guys, welcome to this informal little update video where I'm going to share what to expect coming from this channel in the future and why I'm changing the name. The video subject on the channel has been pretty all over the place, especially as of late. And I've been battling a bit with trying to stay consistent with one subject because, you know, that's the right formula to grow and do good on YouTube. Or if I should just create whatever I want to make. But the thing is that I don't think there is a specific niche that I would feel excited and motivated to create content within for years to come. And if I did that, then I also would hold myself back from creating content that I would like to make, just that doesn't fit the niche. So what I'm going for for now is creating content that I get excited for and that I think is interesting and that hopefully you think is interesting as well. So I want to keep making health and fitness and nutrition related challenges and experiments comfort zone, expanding videos. If I feel like sharing a travel video, I'll do so. And if I want to make a 16 second sketch, then I'll do that. And maybe some weird experimental type videos and learning videos like learning a language. Yeah, the list is long. And uh, if you have suggestions, I'm of course very open to listening to what you have to say. Yes, yeah, so I guess I just don't want to hold back my creativity, at least not at this point where I'm at right now. And this is basically opposite advice on how to grow on YouTube because you're supposed to stay within your niche. And I guess I should have like seven channels, one for each niche. The algorithm is certainly not a big fan of what I'm doing right now, but I think that's what I'm gonna go with for, for now because it feels right and I'm still learning how to create like good content. And now is also the time to experiment because I see bigger creators being terrified of creating something that they are afraid might not fit their niche and ap appeal to their audience perfectly and they feel like they have something to lose but at this point I, I don't have much to lose and of course all this might change I change my mind all the time and if I get a new perspective and want to go for a new approach then I think that I'll then I'll do so if I think that's for the better when I found the name and I started planning the channel I didn't even own a camera and certainly did not know how to use it and it would be pretty remarkable if I was able to foresee what type of content I would want to make years down the road and how much effort I would want to put into it and that I would still enjoy using a camera. I could just as well be sick and tired of it after a month. And in that regard, the name Accountability Team did fit my intention of what the channel was going to be about before I started because I was thinking of doing some like group challenges and uh, like, I don't know, I had a lot of different ideas and I thought it was going to be more directly tied up with self-development and make sense. But I don't think it makes sense anymore. An accountability team is pretty suggestive of the content to a certain degree, but I don't think it's going to reflect the content very well in the future. So that's why I'm changing the name to Magna, my name. It's a simple and a neutral, non-suggestive name that's going to reflect the content no matter what I make, as long as I'm, I'm the creator. That's that and I think that's it. So I guess I'll see you in the next video.